All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Brad and Kyle channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about adjusting bowling ball surface, how to do it and why it's important. Stay tuned. All right, so if we're going to talk about bowling ball service, I think we need to go back to the very, very basics and just talk about the three main ways you can throw your bowling ball or the three main services your bowling ball can have on it. Um, for one, you can polish it, uh, which is something that we very rarely do, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, you could leave it the way it was sent to you in the box, called the box finish, and you can just bowl as many games on it as you want and never touch it. It's called, what's that called? Like lane shine. Lane shine, yeah. that's what it's called. <laughs> um, and then the, the number three thing is to actually put service on your ball uh, using Avalon pads. Yeah. Okay, so Kyle, you have Avalon pads with you. These are our best friend. Mm -hmm. Most amazing <laughs> thing in the world. <laughs> so the, the, we are often changing surfaces all the time because we may like a ball, but maybe after 15 games that surface wore off and we just need to touch it up so it reads the lane like it was doing before. Or it may be the opposite. Maybe the ball's a little too strong and we need to shine a ball. Now on tour, we usually, we kind of stick away from the shine because there's so much oil on the lane. We generally need to uh, get our ball to pick up. So I have here in my hand um, three Avalon pads. Now these are the three that we use the most. So I'll see if we can get the camera. We have a 500. We have a thousand, and then we got a two thousand. Now these are more; these are the grittier Avalon pads, and they do have less than five hundred. But that's too extreme. too extreme. Generally, don't use those. Those kind of ruin the cover of the bowling ball. And then once you start getting the three thousand, four thousand, when you try to work those out by hand, it really doesn't do, do anything to the bowling ball. So now, if you're using a ball spinner. That's important. You know, you can hit a ball with 3,000, 4,000, but we're going to talk about the importance of hitting it uh, by hand with an Avalon pad. And I do want to say that majority of you out there that are just bowling leagues, and if your ball hooks a lot normally a league, you, you probably don't need to use surface. Right. If you're a person that's attempting to try and get better at tournaments, potentially win tournaments, they're a great idea to have in your bag because they become very, very important if you throw your first shot in practice and your ball doesn't hook. Yeah. You immediately go to, go to those things. Yeah. Uh, and I also want to kind of debunk a, a myth a little bit. When I've heard a lot of people say that when you hit balls with surface, it makes them hook more. Um, and I guess in a weird way, it, that, that can be true. I think it, it more so changes where they hook. Where it hooks, exactly. It makes it hook earlier. It makes it see friction a lot earlier, which could potentially act, actually make it hook a little less down lane because it's using so much energy. Uh, initially yeah. that it actually hooks a little bit less down lane. So what, what these do is actually give you control. It does make the ball hook, but it doesn't actually make it hook like a, an, an extreme yeah, amount it's, it's left. It's not going to be down lane hook. Now that's with service. If we were to shine a ball, then it would prolong that hook yes. and probably be sharper yes. down lane. And quick note, the longer it goes down the lane, the harder it is to control. So if you're bowling on something hard, surface becomes very nice because it gives you control of the bowling ball. Absolutely. So, and, and, and one uh, note that I wanted to kind of bring back up is where, when we would use these. Yeah. And that's in practice session. You know, before the practice session, you should have these ready to go. You should have kind of what ball you want to start with and then throw the ball down the lane. If you see it needs to read earlier, you need to go to your Avalon yeah, pads absolutely. and hit a ball. So we're going to do a little test run for you here. So Brad, grab a ball. Are we, are we going to crush this? No, no. See the yeah. <laughs> so here we have his uh, pitch black, and it works the same for reactive balls and urethane balls. So we have his pitch black here. Brad, we just want to throw a shot down the lane, and then afterwards we're going to crush it with surface. See the difference. Okay, let's okay, do it. So let's throw a shot. Okay, so you can see that went pretty straight. Yep. And if you were wanting to throw that ball, you would say, I need more surface. Negative. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to, I want to say extreme, but a lot of times with your thing, we do use this pad. We're going to use the 500 pad. So Brad, give me that ball. You want to try to get it as even as possible. The 500 pad is plenty of surface. Yeah. It is unbelievably rare you would ever need more than that. Yeah. And there are definitely times where we throw our first shots in practice and that happens. And immediately, the first, I mean, every good bowler in the world immediately is. Okay, so now you can see this, this snow tire now. 
So let's do the same thing <laughs> and let's see if this ball picks up any earlier. I hope it does or else the video is ruined. <laughs> Okay, so a lot more hook. I will say that that was a little bit farther left than the first one, but still, you actually saw it like see yeah. the lane and want to go left. And same ball. We, same didn't, ball. we didn't change the type of cover. We didn't change the core. You didn't throw it differently. All we did is hit it with this guy right here. Yep. So that's how big of a difference these Abalon pads and adjusting surface can uh, change your ball reaction. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. And remember, just make sure you have a couple of Aberlon pads, 500, 1,000, 2,000, just around, just in case you have that one practice ball that doesn't hook. And make sure you guys follow us on social media, Instagram, Inside Bowling for Our Merch. We got Patreon where we give more tutorials and coaching lessons like this. Links will be in the description below. See you guys later.